Uh, where do I start? Basically, me and the Salford Media team have agreed to vlog my road to recovery. We believe it's a good idea for me to keep myself busy while I'm going to be out for a long, long time. It's probably the longest, longest injury I've had in my career and I'm going to have too much time on my hands and I wanted to have something to pretty much keep me focused and busy to try not to let myself fall into a you know a bad mental state. So yeah, bear with me. It's the first time I'm actually doing it, look, looking into a camera, speaking by myself type of thing. So yeah, it's, I think it'd be a good, good insight for you guys to see what it's like on the other side of football where you only see on social media is like the glitz and glamour and you know, all the good stuff, but you don't actually see the, the bad side, which is uh, injuries, unfortunately, and that's part of football. So, yeah, how the injury happened, what I remember was ball got played into me. I took my touch inside, drove inside, and I see Conor McElhinney pop inside, and I went just to play the left foot, normal pass, 10 yards, maybe 15 yards pass into his feet. I felt it and I, it felt like I heard the muscle pop itself and yeah, my heart sank. I just I just knew straight away that it might have done my hamstring and yeah, I, I, was in, I was in a lot of pain. When I think back to it, um, my first thought was to sit down and I realized I think I was like the last man back because uh, obviously we, we created a counter attack or we created an attack and everyone started pushing up the field and my first thought was if I sit down here then I'm going to be playing everyone on side so what I did was I started walking up to the halfway line and then I sat down um, and as soon as I sat down yeah the pain just died yeah it was just throbbing yeah and that, that was my injury so hopefully now that I can show you the road to my recovery and hopefully show you some positive content and you know positive mindset of trying to make sure i come back as fit as possible and today i'm going down to london to stay overnight because i've got my surgery tomorrow morning at well i've got to be in at half six in the morning so i'm guessing i'm going to be the first or second on the list hopefully the first because i'm a morning person and i can't eat so hopefully you wake up straight in get it done and then yeah that's my focus to coming back from recovery Yeah, just arrived at the hotel. I think it's about half six now. I'm gonna chill out for about half hour, 45 minutes. Lay down for a bit. And then uh, me and uh, the physio Liam, we're gonna, yeah, gonna get some food. Um, it's not much to do tonight. Uh, I gotta stop eating at 12, which is fine. Hopefully I'm sleeping by then. And then up early and I just can't wait to get this done. Still getting used to this sort of vlogging type of thing. Yeah, before I wrap up the day and get an early night, uh, just my thoughts really on about how I feel tomorrow. I'm a bit, I'm excited, but I'm also you know, a little bit nervous as well. You know, you're getting put under type of thing, you know, it's an operation. I'm not sure how long the operation is. I think it's about an hour. But yeah, I just, just need to get it done now. For myself mentally, it's just, at least I know when it's done then. I've just got this goal of, you know, cutting down the weeks, cutting down the days, achieving little small goals each week. And I have something to strive for. I'll be waiting for, well, I'll be 10 days tomorrow for the operation. So yeah, it's, it's a long wait doing nothing for 10 days, especially for, for a person like myself, which is very busy in the mind as well. So yeah, ask me. I shall catch you at 5.30 in the morning.
So, mate, how are we feeling? Uh, a bit groggy. Um, yeah, the guy who walked, uh, the professor walked in and said that it all went well. Um, I can't remember exactly what he said. I just woke up. It was the best sleep I've ever had. Um, but yeah, it's just recovering now. And then they like pop up and then um, yeah, speak to me when I come around a bit more and uh, yeah, we go from there. I don't know why you got your arms <laughs> going back. It's not it's an actual interview, like, but <laughs> right, this is Liam, he's camera shy, but um, yeah, he, he basically watched the surgery and oh, coming anyway. some coming in. <laughs> so, uh, talk me through it. Um, what did you uh, basically see? Um, so, like, I sort of just sort of came in once we we're getting going, really, so as soon as I was in, they started so. No, it was good to be fair, like surgeons were talking through everything. Like I said, there was two other like students in there as well, like doctors and that in there, so they sort of talked through what the procedure doing, what he was doing, like showed us sort of got us over the top so we could actually have a look in, pointing out like like I said, bits of like anatomy in there as well and then sort of when he was stitching it all back together he was showing us like where he had made like the repair and bits like that. So yeah, it was good. So uh... I'm guessing what they do is put a wire in there. Was it wire they put in? And then... No, so it was like, like Fred like stitched it together really. Yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm I'm just kept it nice and tight. Yeah. Happy days. <laughs> well done. It's good. It's yeah. You're a bit sleepy when I saw you downstairs. Yeah, yeah. I remember you coming, but I don't remember what was said. <laughs> no, I was, I was trying to stop you from getting far too many drugs. Because <laughs> uh, they tend to ply you with painkillers when you go into recovery. And, uh, oh, right, okay. then, then you feel less. False all. Whether you feel lousy for the rest of the day, because this will settle down. Yeah. But it all went well, no problem. It's a bit fit. Just did back together. Uh, all went smoothly, so just a question of now, just time and letting it heal. Yeah. Did you see if it, like, the muscle had a tear or not? Yes. So it, it did. It tore, yeah, tore into it. it kind of, the muscle slid down like that. Oh, was it, yeah? yeah. Was it a big. Not particularly. Small, big or no. so Medium sized, so there was a split in the tendon and then the muscle had peeled off a little bit. Ah, oh, okay, right. Yeah, so we just brought it all back up to it. Ah, oh, perfect. So it's sitting nicely together now. The brace is just protection for the first two, three weeks and then uh, yeah. on we go. Uh, do we keep it at this angle you for, keep, you and then gradually build it straightening it out? Or? In reality, anything straighter than this, you may as well not have it on. So you keep just it at, keep this, it at this, this angle and then after three weeks, just get rid of it. All right, perfect. But we'll send, some, we'll send a press call. Ah, thank you very much. All good. Thank you. Right, we'll uh, let you get up and about. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, four and a half to go to Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, four months in three. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately. At least you'll be back for the rest of the season. Yeah, that's, that's the main thing. Good. So, just like that. Yeah, there you go. Just take your time with it and you'll be fine. <laughs> right mate, it's been a few hours now, how are we feeling? Uh, yeah, I feel a, feel a bit better now, a Co uh, couple of hours, um, come around, uh, the painkillers are starting to wear off a little bit, so throbbing a little bit, but I'm, believe it or not, I'm actually happy that it's just done now, um, out of the way, uh, just gives me something to focus on now, ready to actually kick on and try and get back. Like cut tomorrow, I can't wait to start running on the football pitch, kicking the ball about. But nah, uh, we catch a train back now to Manchester, and then um, yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, uh, that's how I feel right now. Just got back from London. I uh, just pretty much settled down now. I'm in a bit of pain. Uh, hopefully I've taken some ta uh, tablets. Maybe may take some stronger tablets to try and sleep tonight. Not if I'm honest, not looking forward to my first sleep even though I'm so tired. But um, uh, we'll just see how it goes and go from there. But time to chill out. Got my little Mackies try and cheer me up but uh yeah it is what it is it's a bit of a nightmare trying to get around the apartment you know picking things up carrying stuff 
I mean, he drops a couple of stuff and he's bumming an impatient person and <laughs> just got to get on with it. It's going to be like this now for uh, three weeks. I think it is two, three weeks in a brace. But I don't think I have anything else to say for you in this part of the vlog. Yeah, I'm signing out for today. Hopefully catch you in the next one.